Hey YouTube, today's video is about making cured salmon, gravelox, well, or maybe just lox to you if you live here in the States with me, but um, traditionally it's called gravelox. The uh, Norwegian fishermen would take their salmon catch and salt it and bury it. Gravelox is literally a salmon grave. The Norwegian fishermen would take their catch, fillet it, salt it, and bury it. And the, the combination of the weight and the uh, osmotic pressure of the salt would suck the moisture out of the salmon flesh and create a cured fish that they could keep and enjoy and we've come to know it as lox which is a, you know that kind of thick salmon that isn't really raw fish but it's well it's cured let's take a look at how to make it here's everything that you need to make the cured salmon piece of salmon this is a pound that I picked up some brown sugar kosher salt a beet a lemon and some juniper berries you can find juniper berries on the internet. Check out the link below. To do the beet, use the container. I found a Tupperware that's just about as big as the fish that I bought. I'll grate the beet right into that. Grate the lemon right into the box as well. As I'm grating this, I'm being careful not to get too much of the white part. The white part is bitter. All you want is the dark yellow part. For a pound of fish, I'm going to use a half cup each of salt and sugar. Take about two tablespoons of your juniper berries and crush them. You need to break them open somehow. They're kind of like peppercorns in that you really need to get into that tender center. This is just a salt box. Mix this all together. Other things that are good in here, some cracked black pepper, or some cinnamon, or some allspice, maybe some anise. Get creative. Next thing goes the fish. I think this piece of fish is just a little too big, and I want it to fit better. Just gonna trim it a little bit. Oh, and there's skin on it. Let's get that skin off. Find a likely spot. Start under one edge. until you've got enough to get a hold of. Once you've got a good handle on it, flip it over, put your blade right on the counter, and you can cut along the skin without cutting into the flesh. And see, I've got the, about that much angle underneath my blade here. And into the cure. Some on top and some on the bottom. Once you've got the fish completely surrounded with cure on all sides, pop the lid on it and we'll put this in the fridge. This will stay in the fridge for a couple of days. Every day we're going to take it out, give it a good shake, make sure that the cure is dissolving and it touching all parts of the fish. The whole point of this cure is to use the salt and the sugar to pull the moisture out of the fish while at the same time infuse the fish with the flavors of the juniper berries and the sugar and the salt and the lemon. The beet will give it a little bit of a beet taste, a little bit of sweetness, but mostly that ruby red color that will look great on the fish. Every day we'll take it out, turn it upside down, give it a good shake, make sure that that cure is touching all sides of the fish and doing its job. And then after four or five days we can slice into it and have a look at it. So this has been in the refrigerator for five days, and as you can see, it's much firmer. It's got, it's quite dense. Let's get this rinsed off and we can slice into it. And we'll just rinse this under some cold water.
we can just trim this off and save that for otherwise. But if you can just nice thin slices. Look at that beet stain going into that. The nice contrast between the orange and the red. Freshly cured beetroot salmon. Look at that. Of the way the white shows through the salmon and contrast that red. And hey guys, if you're enjoying these videos, make sure you subscribe and click the thumbs up button on the bottom. Share these with your friends and teach your friends how to make some good food too. Don't keep it all to yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.